I would like to call on stage uh, a gentleman from DMM Africa, Stefan Foch. Could you please uh, come on stage? DMM Africa, our main sponsor. So, I met with Stefan. <laughs> is, it, is it even a, a year? It's a year already? It's almost a year. It's almost a year. <laughs> so, 10 or 11 months ago, he came to my office and it's like, I have an event 12 days from now. I'm looking for 400 attendees, a brilliant stage. I have 30 high profile guests coming from Asia and I need to make you, I need you to make it happen. I was like, you are insane. And I remember his lip right. Insane is something which doesn't exist in Japan. We get shit done. <laughs> and surprisingly, we were able to organize the Africa Business Idea Cup in 13 days. <laughs> Six countries came to Tanzania and we made it happen. And from there, Stefan was like, I know you guys, you can do anything. And we'll continue to work together. Thank you so much, Stefan. Please welcome. American accent. I went to college in the States and so on, but then I live in Japan. So it's a very roundabout story. So born in Canada, raised in Haiti, moved to New York and then living in Japan. But this is a story that's becoming even more common all around the world. However, that story is something that is very uncommon in Japan. A lot of people usually stay in Japan. They don't know the rest of the world, which is the reason why our chairman when he launched DMM Africa, it was very hard to explain to him why people like Jumane are important in this world. He launched this fund, $100 million to be invested in Africa. Why? He came on a simple vacation. He looked around him and he said, there are many opportunities in this continent. What is missing is the proper support, the proper funds, not the people, the people are here, the knowledge is here. The funds and the support is what is missing. From someone in Japan, he said, I don't speak English. I don't understand the continent. I can't do anything to help, except put someone in place that can be a bridge to help. In this situation, this is when DMM Africa was launched. This is when we launched this Africa Business Idea Cup. And 12 days before the final competition, I went to Jumane and asked him if he can create the final competition, and he did. This is where he was the one who launched it. We showed it to the people in Japan, and now what we're trying to do is create an even stronger bridge between Asia and the African continent. So why am I saying this story? This story is about connections and also one very simple thing, which is about trust. Jumane was able to help the people that we work in Japan understand the African continent and trust in the opportunities over here. Given the distance, people, can st people still cannot see what they're working with. So we're trying to visualize these opportunities for them. And conferences such as Sahara's Box are key. DMM is a sponsor of Slush itself. We are a sponsor of Women's Social Enterprise Conference. We sponsor many different conferences, but the one I look forward to every single year is Sahara's Box. It's the second year, but I'm gonna be coming every single year. <laughs> when trying to push for the sponsorship for here, back in DMM itself, people are telling me why. Similar to what Jumani said, where's the money? I don't understand. Why are we spending money all the way over here? I said, but if you're always looking for where's the money, but you don't want to create the environment, the ecosystem, you don't want to sponsor the education, you don't want to create the background for the people that you're going to hire to make you the money, where are you going to find that money? 
where are you going to find it if you're not willing to create the proper support? Which is why, from the perspective of DMM Africa, I am very happy today to see so many people here who believe in this story. DMM has launched itself. We bought two companies. We have a representative of DMM.Hehe today, originally Hehe Labs. We are equity holder on AC Group. Two organizations. My goal is to increase this to an even larger number. I have to respond to my chairman. Does he understand half the things I say? Not really. But my goal is to push as much as possible and with people like Jumani and people like all of you who are here, I think this dream can become a reality. I think it is time to now have solutions from Africa to be applied to the rest of the world. Solutions made in Africa, for Africa, and by Africans instead of having everything imported. It's time. We can do it. So people always ask me, why am I doing all of this? Now let's go back to the story. Born in Canada, but raised in Haiti, but then moved to New York and then Japan and all of that shebang. Why? Very quickly. When I was, my family, when I was 12, I had to move to the States, not because I wanted to. I had to move because there was a political rebellion in Haiti that caused the president, pres the president at that time to be deposed. Instability is what plagues Haiti. But what I notice is, when I was living in Haiti, almost all of the tools, almost all of the cars, the inverters, the batteries were from Japan. A small country with a few people were designing the tools that I used every single day. Meaning they can dictate where I live, depending on how they build that car. The solar panels, how they do it, can dictate how much energy can be stored in the inverters and batteries. The designers, the ones who are creating these solutions, not the politicians or the people in business, the designers who are creating these solutions have the biggest impact. If I can go to these designers and tell them about the situation in the country where I came from, this is how you can have a bigger impact. I made the mistake. Japan is not the location that's going to change the world. I think the African continent with the new designers, the new engineers, and the new solutions we're going to be coming from this continent is going to change the world. When that day comes in, I'll be very happy to bring these solutions back to the country I call home, which is Haiti. Once more, this is why we need Sahara's Box. This is the beginning. This is why all of you are here to support this dream. Let's make it happen. Better solutions for this continent. Thank you again. This, this, this guy doesn't like to brag. He went to Harvard. Um, <laughs> and you can check his LinkedIn profile. <laughs> so thank you so much, Stefan.